Today here at Stafford, we had a wonderful Veterans Day uh, ceremony uh, across the way in the high school culinary area. We moved beyond from that and brought it over here for a dedication ceremony honoring Colonel uh, Thomas Ellinger, the former uh, senior army instructor. I now have the opportunity to serve in the position that he held for 16 years here at Stafford, impacting lives and making a difference with our youth. Uh, no better way than our board and the superintendent of schools to come together uh, to hear the request of Mrs. Ellinger um, so that her husband's memory stays alive and is always honored as students pass through our high school halls. Colonel Ellinger uh, stood for a lot. He served in the United States Army, gave his all, 26 years and then coming and still serving, uh, doing what we call service is that rent that you pay for the space you occupy. He continued to serve and continued to give back in more ways than one. So that's why today is key and so important. The only thing I can think about right now is just complete gratitude. It shows that this school, this district, everything, they truly cared about what he did for this community um, and they were willing to give back to him. Um, he gave 16 years of his life for this school and I just could not be happier with how they're treating him and how they're honoring him today. It's not just about marching and wearing a uniform. It's about learning life skills. It's learning about how to buy a car, how to read a lease, how to move on with your life, how to dream. His students now, his graduates, high school teachers, Oseas Romero, Army officers, cadet at, the, at, the, at Annapolis, all of those are students that started out as freshmen or sophomores. Let ones, let twos, let threes at Stafford. That's his legacy, and I hope his legacy lives on for another hundred years. That's what it means, and that's what it means for my family. He started the junior ROTC program here 20 years ago, and the program we have today is because of the foundation he laid, and it's a tremendous program for our students. In the absence of leadership, take charge. The colonel was a leader, and he led by example. If other people didn't know how to do it, he'd lead you, he'd show you, he'd talk to you, he'd mentor you, and it didn't matter what your position was. The colonel was used to helping everyone. I had a personal relationship with the colonel. The colonel was a visionary. The colonel didn't just want to create uh, of, of soldiers. He wanted to create great citizens. He made it a personal pledge. He'd tell me he'd spend his time, his money, his efforts way outside of school just to make sure the kids here in Stafford could be productive citizens in the world and in the United States. The biggest thing I want to take away that he has done is continuing as the Army's JROTC motto is is to motivate young people to be better citizens. That's the mission statement of this program. The program is leadership and excellence, but you've got to motivate them. You've got to keep them going. You've got to let them know the difference between right and wrong. You've got to instill in them those values, those things that make a difference, integrity, the character, all those parts that Colonel Ellinger embedded, those, those things are what I will also continue to move forward. Biggest thing, motivating young people to be better citizens. See?